Great. Looks like somebody's home. Luke sure knows how to pick them. We'll set down in that canyon and try to sneak into the castle. Ah, this rain's like acid. Find some cover, fast. Now as you heard him say, the rain is like acid, so you take one to two ticks of health damage in it every second. Hi everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. And the rain being like acid is why on our last mission, although we didn't really use any force powers per se, we chose to put protection up to level 3. Which is exactly what he's using. Now that guy up there is a heavy trooper. They have the same weapon that Rax had. It's a Stoker's concussion rifle. With push where it is now, we can actually shoot the boss back at them, but it's a little hard to time it. Looks like the welcome wagon's arrived. What are these things? So I will try to get through this with as little mishap as possible. You think you can take me? Now I'll go and grab, well actually I'll grab, there's another one of these heavy troopers inside here and I'll grab his rifle. And there's there for now. If you've lost any health or shield, which you probably have from the concussion rifle there, that's where you're supposed to go. If I head back this way, and you'll find a large booster and a med pack. And there's some ammo there for one of the weapons. Just then go back to protection if you have it. Flip it on and then run up here. And you're going to have two more of these heavy troopers up here to deal with. As you can see, there's a med pack there and a booster there on the left and right. They are originally up on the bot barrel, so if they are not down on the ground for you, that's where you want to look for them. But most likely, they'll be knocked down because of all of the shaking from the concussion rifle blast when they get shoved back on them. Now you can turn off protection here, let your force recover. So you can use for other things. There's going to be three troopers down in here. You're joking, right? And as you can see, one of them had a fauché. Uh. Coming through there's going to be two officers. And some troopers, one of the officers is... Oh, there's going to be three officers. Two of them are down here. One is up there on the path, and then there's two troopers up there on the path. An ammo dump there if you need it, and a shield charger. So fill up your shield as much as you need it, then you're going to come through here. You're joking, right? We have a cultist to deal with. A few troopers here. First one's going to be here, front on the right. Second one's going to be in the middle here on the left. Then the third one's back on the right over here. Now I need to heal up a little more. There's a med pack back here where you come in. Both of those doors lead outside. If you want to investigate them, go ahead. I'm going to move on ahead though. So the checkpoint's you right there. Stop. 
take out those two troopers and the officer there. Then we're gonna head up to the right here. There's gonna be a number of troopers up here to deal with. Ah, oh, what the heck? Man. I can just not- There's another large booster there. I can just not get a break trying to do this level when I'm actually recording it. Oh, darn it. The game alive with a card in there. I'm not protection because you saw that even with it I took a huge amount of damage. Okay, this door right here is where we want to go. Ah, oh, damn it. I want to heal up some though because that was a bit ridiculous. And a quick save. Then I'll let the shield recharge you a little bit. I'll checkpoint you again right there. Should have protection briefly to come through that little opening there where the rain's coming down. Coming here, you're gonna have a med pack here. A med pack here on the racks, then another med pack on the barrels there, and another charger here, and there's ammo duck next to it again. So grab the med packs and use the charger if you need to. And you come through this door. We're going to have another heavy trooper up ahead here. Oh, I'm out of force, so I'm going to sit here and have to recharge a bit. Throw a protectile and come back out here. And these series of structures they have up there, you're going to use them as cover as you run through the outside here. Because there's no way you're going to make it all the way through this area, outside area here in one protection go. So if you want to avoid losing health, what you want to do is you want to run from one overhang to the next. And this what I tend to do is when I get to the next one, I'll turn off protection and I'll let it my, my meter recover again. And so get on this rock and then wait, because down there you're going to have three more troopers and one of them is going to be in a web blaster. So when you're ready, turn off protection and run down there and get prepared to take them out. So take them out and then let your meter recover again. I'm going to heal a little bit. Then we're going to run in down here. And up ahead here we're going to have three trooper, heavy troopers coming at us. So be prepared for that. Up under this overhang is going to be a large booster and a med pack. Now the next two overhangs past this little corner area here on the cliff. There's going to be a med pack and a large booster for you if you need them. So let's throw a protection back on. We'll run around this way and I'll show you.
If they have the mud packs up on top of the barrels, the large booster is sitting on the ground next to them, on the side furthest from you. Now we're going to run down another two overhangs up here. And on these barrels here is another large booster mud pack if you need any more health or shield. But if we're going to run across that bridge right there, but you don't run inside there. What you do is you're going to run along the cliff that's to the left of it. So throw protection back on and I'll show you that. Well, actually, because of how much time we're going to need for protection here, I'm actually going to wait. I'm going to do a fresh... I'm going to do a fresh use of it to run across the cell. So you run across and you run across the left here. What you want to do is you want to hold jump to jump on these without falling in the water because the water is just like acid as well. Take cover. Guess they're expecting us now. Okay, we'll have to get to that turbo laser and take out the bomber first. Oh, 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 oh. Basically, so you find a way up there to get to that blaster rifle or whatever it is and blast the bombers there out of the sky. So we can protect. For the self point is that you can still get hit by them while they're bombing you when you're close to the outside there. Now, you don't want to fall in the water here either as it's like acid as well because you're going to be like swimming at it instead of being pelted with it. There's a lot more of it, so you lose health like twice as fast in the water as you do getting hit by the rain. So make sure you don't fall in the water when you're jumping over here. Okay, here you want to throw protection and we're going to run up this catwalk ramp here and go to the left on it. Now, Kyle actually has dark side powers too. In fact, he has the same two that I grab. And if you ever need to recharge your um your force meter or your pr protect ran out, you want to run under one of these overhangs that these soldiers are sitting in to avoid taking damage while it recharges. That's then we're going to run down into here. So take out these four guys here. The guy there that looked a little different had a uh, crochet, so be careful of that. We're going to drop down here. There's a large booster here. Right over here on these little cans or whatever you want to fit of them. And this box over here, left of the ramp that you came down here on, is how you're going to get back up. You hold jump, jump on the box, then hold it again and jump back up here. Alright, then we're going to come in here and run down this way. And coming up shortly, we're going to have two cultists at once coming at us. Alright, so you take out those two cultists. And then when we call down into that room there, there's going to be about four to five guys that we have, four to five troopers to take out. The 
if you fall down there, by the way, you die, so... There isn't a little safe spot down there for you to fall, you just fall to a certain point and then it instantly kills you. So once you have those guys taken care of, if you really need to heal, go ahead and do it. I'm going to bring myself up just a little bit. I'm going to come in through here. Just checking all the areas around. Okay, now we're going to have a brand new type of enemy with a saber here coming up. Brand new member of this group. Okay, the turbo laser should be on the other side of this door. <clears throat> it's locked. There was a control room back there. Wait here and let me know if I get it open. And here's our new guy. He is a reborn. Now if you remember, if you played the first two, more specifically the second one, you'll recognize these guys. They are overall a lot harder and tougher than cultists. They do more damage, they, they do more damage, they take more damage, and they also have force powers as well as a saber, so... Yeah, they can use choke and... They can use choke, pull, push. They have all the core powers, so they can use pull and push on you, and they also have choke it, grip, and lightning essentially as well. And any enemy with grip has grip too, so they can damage you with it. So be careful now, as these guys are going to be showing up from here on out. So what we do is you come up here. The couple takes the damage are no big deal. Hop on the blaster here, target these bombers. And you're just going to shoot them. With this when they come around. Now the couple of ticks of damage from the blasters there don't bother me much, so I'm just going to sit and take it. Now I'm going to heal a bit, and I'm going to run through this door. Because this is a shortcut back outside. As you recognize, this is the room that we entered from. Oh, I guess there's a box that we could jump up from too, but yeah. So again, throw on protect as we're heading back on this catwalk in the rain outside. What we're going to do is we're going to run back down to the bottom level here. We come over to this door here. I'm just going to sit here for a moment and let it recharge because run through that whole area outside in one protect use. And we're just going to run back the way we came to continue outside. Okay, now heading up around 20 minutes, so I'll end this first part of this mission off here soon. So throw protect back on, now that the bombers are gone, we can continue along the path outside here. We're going to run this way. We're going to head under this cover. Okay, well, obviously that cover is like full of holes or something, so the rain comes through it. Up here, you're fine to turn it off and let your force recover without any issue. Okay, so I do objectives, so, okay. Just that we found a way past the, past the tie bombers with the emplaced gun. Alright, so, so now it's taking us inside and it's actually loading a whole new area. I will be right back. Now we need to get up into the castle. There's a turbo lift over there. Locked down. You ever feel like you're not welcome? Let's see if we can find another way out of here. They always lock the door. You think they'd have learned by now. Doesn't look like there's a key. That would be too easy. 
The console to unlock the door is probably hidden in some room 12 floors up or something. How does that make sense? Okay, I'm back now, and as you heard him say, we have to find a way to get inside, because the turbo lifts are locked down. And one of my fa most favorite lines in this entire game is coming up here shortly, too. There's a weapon right there if you need anything. I wonder where this leads. Oh, of course it has to be a garbage pit, doesn't it? Well, let's go. No one ever said being a Jedi was glamorous. to the middle. You can jump out from there. That was too close. We've got to get out of here. Take that chute and I'll take this one. With luck, we'll meet up on the other side. And as you heard a moment ago, it was my, one of my favorite lines in this entire game. I'm going to take out these guys and then I will end off the video here shortly after that. Okay, so my favorite line that he said was there when we entered the garbage pit. It was when he says that no one ever said the life of a Jedi was glamorous. As that does hold some truth to me, it's pretty funny in and of itself there. So we're now a little past 20 minutes, so I will end this off here. This has been Masaki. Hope you guys have been enjoying or playing along. If so, subscribe and hit that like button. Leave some comments if you like. Let me know you guys really enjoy watching these. And I will see you all in the second part of this mission. This is probably going to be, as I said, about maybe three, maybe even four videos. This mission is really long and it has some parts that will take a couple of minutes because they're going to be really difficult to go through. So with all that said, I'll see you all then and goodbye.